you crawl to me. Kiss me. Soft. I'm ready for my turn. I'm super excited. <laughs> okay, guys, so we watched the full first episode of Sex, Sex Love, Love and Goo. Goo. And we're really excited to try a bunch of the things. And just in the first episode, <laughs> just in the first episode, we saw a bunch of really cool things and learned yeah. a lot. So we're gonna try it out and we encourage you guys if you are feeling like you need to spice things up with your partner and want to learn a little bit more about like sex and love and stuff like that, check it out. First and foremost, y'all, I cannot cross my legs for the life of me. I think it's because I'm not flexible. My hips are so tight and I'm meant to be a little lesbian because like I can't bust it open. Like look, this is as far as mine go. We gonna work on that. We gonna work on that. She just got this. scared that I was gonna. Yeah, I've been stretching it. This is actually better because it used to be like this. Yeah. So I, I'm getting better. So hopefully this exercise can even open me up. Yeah, I tell her she has brittle hips, kind of like an 80 year old woman. We gotta work on that before you get old, cause then it's gonna yeah. be really crazy. Okay. All right, y'all, let's get into it. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so the first thing that we learn and we're gonna try. What's the first thing then? <laughs> I'm excited. What? Okay, so we learned that there are five energetic blueprints to mm. your sexual blueprint. So there's five different ones, all right? Okay. And we're gonna try to figure out which ones are ours. We're gonna identify those by doing little challenges because it's important to know what type of sexual being your partner is and what they respond to so that you know what to do to them. I mean, I know what to do, baby. How to ignite them. Come on, I don't know how to ignite you. I'm sure there's things you could learn. I'm sure. That's what we're doing. That's what we're here for, is to learn and to expand. Right. I'm willing to learn, because there's a lot of things you can do to me, too, so. That's why we're here. All right, let's get it popping. Okay, okay, so the first one. So, we have energetic. Energetic. Okay, and that is basically when the anticipation of something or the build up to the actual act of sex is what turns you on the most. Okay. Okay, are you listening? Because listen I just saw you go. I thought I see something. Okay. You know, like a little coyote or something. Oh, hell no. Make sure we heard there's bears in our neighborhood this season. So Literally. just make sure I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. The next type of erotic blueprint is oh, sensual. This is when you respond to all of your senses being ignited. So that's touch, smell, taste. You know your five senses, okay? Okay, okay. The next one is sexual, and the thought of what we think sex is is what turns you on, like penetration. The thought of sex is what turns you on, okay? And that's people like that probably are really turned on by porn and things like that because that's what we think sex is, Okay. right? And then there's kinky, which is whatever you think might be kinky, and that might be whips and chains, or that might just be even something a little less you know, aggressive, but whatever you think is kinky. And the last one is a shapeshifter. And that means you are turned on by all of those things. So right now we are about to test those things out to see which ones we respond to. Okay, let's get it popping. Okay, so we have a few things in front of us yeah. that are gonna help us test these blueprints and see where we respond. Who's going first, me or you? I don't know. You can go first. Okay, I can go first? No, like I'll do it to you. Use it to me. Yeah. Okay. All right. I put a sports bra on for this. Like we said, guys, this is educational Educa purposes. Very educational. We want to teach you guys a lesson about sex. And teach ourselves too. Yes. All right, so I'm going to start off with energetic, and you're going to tell me from one through five how it feels, okay? Okay. All right, ready? Okay. Okay, don't look. How does that feel so far? Are your hands over like my mid back? Yeah, they were. They were? Yeah. You felt that? Yeah. What? I did. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, okay here we go. Don't look, don't look close your eyes. Okay. Okay. 
Are you like near my butt and thighs or no? Yes. You are? Yeah, and what do you feel? One through ten. I felt like a warmth, but okay. I think you're supposed to touch me now. Like Okay, I can touch you. That's pretty crazy, Nisa Gang, how like you try this for real because my eyes are closed and I can just feel where she's at by the energy that her hands are putting off, which is really cool. Okay. One more time. Wow, this is so warm. I can feel your energy in your body. One through five, how do you rate this? I would rate that a solid four. Four? Mm hmm Okay. All right, so now we're gonna try sensual. So I'm gonna try to ignite her senses, multiple senses, okay? And how's that feeling for you? Mm, I think that's like a... Two. A two? Mm hmm Okay. Why is that? It's just not really doing too much for me. It feels good, but it feels more like relaxing than like sensual, you okay. know? Let's try a kink. Okay. Maybe a kink. Maybe that's what she likes, kink, instead of sensual. Here we go. How would you rate that? It still feels like the same sensation. It feels like you're just rubbing something on my body. How's that feel? I like that more. You like that more? <laughs> yeah. That's like... What is that? Mm, One through five. Yeah, that's like a, a five. That's like more exciting, I think. You like that? Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. So you like kinky stuff? Yep. Okay, she's into the kink. So we got a five. The other ones were ones and fours. I'm gonna try this next one, all right? I'm gonna blindfold you, okay, with the scarf. So the scarf is taking away one of her senses. So, you know, we're gonna see if that heightens her other senses. I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? I'm excited. So she's blindfolded, we're gonna have her turn over. You can't see, right? No. All right, here we go. How do you like that? I love that. You like that? Mm-hmm. Oh, you love that? I love that. Oh, yeah? Ooh. It's the smell of the oils for me. It's the not kind of knowing what I'm going to experience next because I'm blindfolded. And then the touch. All of that together is definitely a five. Five? Yeah. Wow. We haven't even gotten to, like, the legs yet. And it's a five? Yes, for sure. Love that. So that's a five? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's a lot, babe. Turning me on. Ooh. Turning me on. Ooh. Okay. So back up. Back up. Okay. All right, you go. Now get on your knees. Get on my knees. Yeah, get on your knees. So I definitely learned how important certain things are to me. I think we kind of already knew certain things about my preferences, yeah. but this just showed like some things don't necessarily work as much as other things. Yeah. And I think that if I had to say the two things that I am out of the five, I'm definitely sensual because it was the sensations of the different things, especially once I was blindfolded and could smell like the rose oil and the just thought of not knowing where she's at or what's gonna happen next yeah. and then her hands on me and then the little kisses, like that all was so exciting to me. But also the whip was definitely more exciting to me than like the light touches of the pompous grass. We don't have a feather, so we're using pompous grass, but. It's so bougie. <laughs> Pompous class. But yeah, so that was that was cool, right? It was great. That was amazing. I'm ready for my turn. I'm super excited because I know that blindfold is gonna make things so much more heightened. What if you don't like it? I mean, I feel like we kind of know what you like too. But I'm, you never know. You might experience something that you didn't know you would like as much as you do. You right? Okay, let's get it popping. Right, it's my turn. 
and uh, I'm excited. Okay. You need to feel that energy? Yes, give me the energy. Okay. Are you by my lower back? No. Dang it. <laughs> Is your knee by my back? Yeah. Oh, I felt your I felt your knee by my back. Like I felt something warm by there. Okay. All right, now try. Okay, ready? One more time. One more time. Okay, ready? Yeah. Where'd you feel me? My legs. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Did you cheat? No. Or where? Did you feel the way I was leaning? No. Oh, good job. All right. Well, that was good. Okay. So let's okay. try the next thing. So now I'm going to just kind of trail her body and try to send energy into her to see if she's energetical. Okay. Ready? <gasps> wow. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you like that? Yeah. All right, on a scale of one to five, what is Ooh it feel like? That's a five for sure. Really? Yes. Okay. Hey, do some more, do some more. Come on. Oof. Yes. This feels so amazing. Wow. Okay, so we definitely learned that she's energetical. Oh yeah. Which I think we kind of knew that because we've done these things called before that's like really fun and it kind of is like a turn on for both of us where we try not to kiss. Yeah. And we did it before it was a challenge on YouTube where it was like the chapter challenge or something or whatever. But we actually would get into in each other's face and just see how long we could go without kissing. And just the energy of being that close to each other was so like invigorating. Yeah. Let's see if kink, if Ooh. you like a little bit of kink. So close your eyes. Okay, okay. I relax, I relax. Oh! Bitch! <laughs> wow, <laughs> Natalie Odell. Was that too much? You were a little rough there. Okay, okay. See how I went into it subtly? Yeah, you did. I didn't expect that. That was very soft. It's invasion of my privacy. And not an invasion of your privacy. Jesus. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. We're oh, going you softer. Got, you were too excited. Okay. Way too excited. Oh my God. Okay, okay. All right. All right. Okay. Put out your hand. <laughs> Give it. Flip it over. Why are you flipping it like that? Yes. <laughs> it doesn't look sensational. For you, you no. look like you're being beaten. Yeah, I'm a little, nah. It's like, I do love kink, but I feel like maybe I need to transfer that aggression to you because you like kink and you a little bit less of me. Okay, so you don't like kink. Well, let's try one more kink thing and see if she likes it. Okay. Lay down. Okay. She's aggressive. <sighs> What's that? Close your eyes. Put your hands behind your back. Hands behind my back. Cause maybe she doesn't want to be flogged, but maybe something else. Okay, so the restraints are on. They're on. All right, how do you feel so far with these on? I feel good, but I feel like, oh snap, what's about to happen? Okay, do you All feel right. nervous, excited? Uh, I'm, I'm ready to get that spark back. <laughs> Okay, close your eyes. So, I have these objects here that are going to surprise her and hopefully, I don't know, cause a little spark. Ooh. Ooh. What is that? Okay. Ooh. That's tingly sensation. Okay. Sensational. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. God damn! Oh. <laughs> okay, how do you feel on a scale of one to five with that? That felt fire. I felt like that was like a three and a half, four. Okay. You know? All right. It's so like maybe a, a little bit of kink, but yeah. maybe not so much roughness. In the show, they use like these claws that I obviously don't have. So I just got some like hair clips that are a little bit sharp. Let me see. And I'm just trailing them on her body oh. to create some type of sensation. It doesn't hurt, but it's not like super soft either. Innovative. And she's bound, so 
that's where like maybe the kink comes in because she doesn't have control. Can I get the handcuffs off? Do you like this or you don't like the handcuffs? I do like the handcuffs. I thought you were finished. Maybe I'm not finished. <laughs> Are we getting freaky on YouTube? <laughs> Chill out. Okay, let's take these off. All right, let's see about the last one. All right, what's the last? Go ahead, babe. Push up. Do a push up? Yeah. Good job. I was covering my belly. <laughs> okay. So let's blindfold you and see if you're into other sensations. All right. Okay. All right. Now lay down. All right. How do you feel being blindfolded? I feel a little nervous, but I feel safe. Okay. Well, that's good. Safety first. Now smell this. What does this do for you? Mmm. Smells clean. Okay. Smells like edible. Okay. Makes me feel mm, zen. Zen. Okay. Yeah. Calm. All right. Ooh. Yes. 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 Oh, nice. Sensational. Every touch. Now on a scale of one to five, how's it igniting you passionately? Not, you know, like what's it doing for you? The one through five, it's relaxing me. Ooh, down there is turning me on. My legs are igniting me. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Now let's see this. Ooh. I like that. Now we're bringing in some vibration. Jeez. See how that makes her feel? I feel like you care about me. Ooh. Does Making that me... ignite something or does it just make you feel like relaxed? It makes me feel real relaxed. Like I can hop in a bath right now with you. Okay. Yeah. And go to sleep or? Yeah, hey, I feel relaxed. That's too relaxing. Okay. How'd you feel with the hands? Mm, I feel more sensual with the hands. Okay. Oh, now I feel real heightened. Okay. Oh, so maybe the kisses. Ooh. Okay, so All if you right. had to break down what seemed the most exciting to you centrally and sexually, what would you say? I would definitely say the touch. Touching and trying to feel the energy definitely felt sensational. That's okay. my word of the entire session, sensational, because it felt like it ignited sexual healing. You felt healed by that? It seems like I needed to do some healing. Oh, okay. So you definitely seem to be ignited by the blueprint of sensation then. Yeah. Okay, is that it? So mine was kink and sensation. What do you think yours was? Just sensation? Yeah, just sensation and energy. Does the thought of sex oh, turn you on? Oh, 100%. Because remember, there was one that was sexual, which was the thought of sex and the act of it turns you on. Do you think that also turns you on? Or do you think oh, just, yeah. yeah? Oh, 100%. Especially being, I think, in the bed, like how we are. Okay, so maybe she's sexual and sensational. That's good. I definitely encourage you guys to try that with your partner because I think we kind of already knew certain things, yeah. but I felt like we were also learning new things too, right? Um, I don't know. I feel like it caused uh, me to remember certain things and like, I felt like I, I catered to myself a lot, so it made me want to just keep catering to you, you know? Okay. I'm bringing that catering feeling. All right, so the next part of this session is going to be us telling each other what we like about each other that contributes to our sexual desires for each other. Something, what do you like about me that turns you on? I love how kinky you are. I love how curvaceous you are. I love when you sensually look at me like you want me to devour you. Okay, yeah. so that's good. That's good to know. And then in the show, they asked like, how did you feel about hearing those things? So I'll ask Let me my- ask you. Okay, go ahead. How did you feel about me telling you those things? Um, I don't know. It felt like flattering and like, it makes me want to implement those things more, you know? Now that I know that turns you on about me. 
Okay, so now I'll well, tell you. Tell me the things that turn you on about me. Okay, so I feel like the things that your essence that turns me on would be there's definitely something that you do, like a way that you look at me. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like a look that you get whenever you're just almost infatuated by the things that might be exciting me or turning me on. Mm -hmm. There's like a look that you give me where you just look, you look so inquisitive and I like that. And then the another one is I like when you are a mix between dominant and passionate. Like there's a sweet spot that sometimes you'll like find and I'm like, wow, that's great. Cause it's not too aggressive. It's not like too like, oh, come here. Like, you know, and like mean almost, but it's like that assertiveness yet like you care. And I love that. <laughs> you got me blushing. So how do you feel about hearing those things? I feel like daddy. <laughs> so you like that? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, perfect. <laughs> you ready to go on to the next one? Are you? Yes. You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is tell each other some commands and the other person has to do what we say in a specific way. And then we're going to kind of critique those things. We're gonna critique the way the person commanded us and we're gonna critique the way the person responded and if we liked it, if there's something that we would like more or less of, okay? Who's going first? You go first. You want me to command you first? No, you, I want you to listen first. Okay, so you want to command me first? Yeah. Okay, so let's do it. And I want you to crawl to me. Kiss me softly. Put your hands behind your back. Aw, this is so good. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Did you? This was so much fun, y'all. I enjoyed it a lot. I felt like it definitely sparked that sensational chemistry between us. <laughs> That's the word of the day, sensational. I feel like it ignited a lot of our emotions and heightened and stimulated our orgasms. <laughs> I thought you were about to say our organs. <laughs> our orgasms. <laughs> No, it was seriously. Fun. It was fun, I loved it. I literally, it just reminded me of the beginning of us and like, just like, damn. It's just that nostalgic sexual feeling. I it's, agree. Yeah. I agree, and I feel like we're gonna obviously play with this a little more off camera too, where we can get more into it and we don't have ever, uh, the everybody world watching. watching. But we yeah. think that this was pretty like exciting to do on camera too, because we're taking risks, you know? Yeah. And we had to cut some parts out because it was getting a little hectic. You know? Yeah. So, <laughs> it was spicy. So, try we're it. gonna have fun with this. Yes. You guys try it too. Um, try to explore a little more like where you and your partner are at and what type of like sensations and stuff like that you guys respond to. And if you wanna see more of our journey to find that spark. Subscribe. Definitely subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Turn like this post video. Turn on. Turn those post notifications on. And, and talk, talk over each other the entire time. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video.